Fuck, Kevin, please don't rub up against my bike with your horns. Jeez. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's uh, half past midnight at the moment, a little bit late, but Kevin, bro, oi, come on, off the bike, boy. Guys, quick O light video. Yes, I know this isn't a motor vlog. I uploaded a 20 minute motor vlog about four hours ago. I'll link it down in the description. If you don't dig these videos, that's fine. Just don't complain in the comments section because there are a whole bunch of guys on this channel that get a lot of value out of these O light videos. Oh fuck, I think my camera's gonna die. Hold on boys. All right boys, fresh battery. We're gonna smash through this as quickly as possible. I'll do some testing of a couple of these lights at the end of the video. Real quick, O light doing a massive flash sale for the next couple of days. It's already started as I upload this video. This is gonna be your last chance to get a stocking filler for Christmas. If you want to get someone a gift, your dad a gift, your mum a gift, yourself a gift. I like do knives as well. This is my EDC. I carry this around in my pocket all day long. If you're not across what Oli do, they do probably the most tech advanced. Oh God. They do some of the most tech advanced. Kevin, boy, come on. Hey. Hey, boy, come on. Hey, enough of that. I've got to film a video. They do some of the most tech advanced torches that are available on the market today. Magnetic charging. Check that out. On all of these torches, don't have to remove the battery, just, just plug it up. It's amazing. It's so cool. They also sent me a massive torch in this box right here. I'll open that in a second. No bullshit. I'll cut out all the crap and let you guys know which ones are dope and which ones aren't. This one here is the Seeker 2. This one here is the Seeker 3. I prefer using the Seeker 2, even though it's only got three LEDs, compared to the Seeker 3, which has four LEDs, because you can easily turn the torch on and off with this press button. However, with the Seeker 3, you can't turn it on. It's got a safety feature where you have to rotate the dial and then you can turn the torch on. I don't like that. I find that I'm always grabbing the Seeker 2, Seeker 2 Pro instead of the Seeker 3. So if you're looking for an all round household light that does pretty much everything, this is gonna be it. I'll show you guys what this looks like in a second. If you're a hunter, you're gonna go for something like this. This is the Warrior X Turbo. This one is a thrower, it throws a beam, I think it's 500 meters. Put that aside if you're a hunter, we've got something in there as well for you guys. What have we got next? Headlights. This is the Perrin Mini and this is the Perrin 2. I thought this was dope, it's super lightweight, but I was cooking a barbecue and this thing ran out after about an hour of use. This one here has a massive battery, never runs out, but it's a little heavier on the head. I do, however, prefer using this one. So if you want to do some work at nighttime or if you want to do something at the coffee table and you want some extra lighting or if you're doing some soldering or if you're working on the bike, this is your go-to torch. Another quick one that I like grabbing is this one here. It is the Warrior Mini 2. Really easy operation, super small, super pocketable. This one here is what I carry around with me because it doesn't weigh down my pants super easy operation there's a tail switch on the back of the torch and there is also a switch on the top of the torch this one here is a little bit more powerful it's the warrior x pro this one is sort of a, a what do you call it like a 300 meter thrower so we've got a maybe it's 800 meters i think this one's like 800 meters this one here is like 300 meters it really does a really good job at throwing the beam and it also has a great sort of flood flood pattern to it compared to this one here which is dedicated to throwing a bit you can see right there the hot spot in the middle this thing throws light as far as it can this one here also throws light but it's got a little bit of a better flood pattern to it this one here they just sent me this is the warrior three and um yeah this one's pretty cool awesome hot spot but it's also got a really great flood to it also, it doesn't have a huge head compared to the other torch, as you can see. So it's a little bit more pocketable. Pretty much the same power because they both run off the same sort of batteries. Oh, God. Kevin, jeez. Bro. Hey. Come on. It's been raining. The goats have been inside their little huts and they're hungry because they hate getting wet. A little bit of background information. Goats don't have a protective lanolin, the oil that uh, sheep have on their coats that sort of makes them a little bit more water fast. Goats don't have that on their coat. So when they get wet, they, they get saturated, they get soaked. So they hate getting wet. They ha it's been raining for like two weeks. All of the goats are hungry because they would rather sit in their huts or sit in the garage rather than run around and um, go and get food. But it stopped raining right now. I don't know why Kevin's still in here. Olight also do knives. This one here is the, damn, what is this called? This is the Splint Titanium. Awesome little EDC knife, super fast operation to open it up. I think Olight are giving these away. This is one of their smallest torches. Pretty cool, whatever. Anyway, let's open this bad boy up real quick and then we'll get to testing some of these torches. So they sent this big beast over to me. 
This is the Javelot 2 Pro. Javelot Pro 2. This thing here is your ultimate hunting torch. Super long battery life. Got a tail switch on the back. Turn it on and off. You can also half, oops, you can also half press it for a moonlight mode, or you can do a full press. Then you've got all the power, or it also has a switch here and also a battery indicator. Anyway, pretty cool. This thing is an absolute beast. Let's go see what it's like. All right, boys, I switched over to my phone because the GoPro sucks at nighttime footage. But real quick, here is the Seeker 2, Seeker 2 Pro. This is the turbo mode, so the brightest that it goes. And I don't think it's fully charged. No, it's only on it's only on two bars instead of four bars. But yeah, here it is. It's starting to rain a little bit. There's the girls. They're hiding in their little hut at the moment. But yeah, this is an all-round, all does-everything sort of light. It's got an awesome flood to it. Pretty cool. Super long battery life. I dig it. This is the Warrior 3. This one has a tail switch to it, so it throws the light a little bit further as you can see those sheds down the bottom there it's got a nice hot spot in the middle there and a nice flood to it as well but this is what this bad boy looks like it runs off the same battery as the seeker 2 and the seeker 3 oh, i don't want to shine that in the girl's eyes but yeah this thing's pretty cool pretty pocketable super powerful and throws the beam a little bit further as you can see let's try the javelot this is their hunting light so guys if you want to get these lights use the link down in the bottom of the description of this video every sale i get a tiny little kickback from olight so it helps me produce more videos and get more motorcycle videos out so again guys i said this at the beginning of the video a lot of guys don't like the olight videos but they do help out the channel and they help me get motorcycle content out as well so anyway this is their hunting light you ready guys you ready for this i don't think you're fucking ready watch this look at that you couldn't even see that tree before so this thing is stupid powerful throws the beam of light super far it's got a super hot hot spot in the middle but uh not so much of a not so much of a flood you can sort of you can see the girls there with the flood but that hot spot look at that look how bright that is look at the tree holy crap come on focus focus on the tree look at that and you could pick pigeons off at night with this thing anyway this thing is freaking crazy i don't do any hunting these days i'm not sure how much use i'm gonna get out of it. look at this thing this is freaking ridiculous guys if you're a hunter this is your handheld searchlight anyway I believe this thing here is going to be 45% off on the Olight sale. Again, the sale has already started. Hit the link down in the description of the video. And yeah, cop yourselves a stocking filler before uh, before the Christmas rush. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next motorcycle video. Peace.